Russian invasion of Ukraine occurring on February 24th of this year, NATO country, er, European countries have been reconsidering the prospect of potentially applying for membership in the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. Of course, this has prompted some backlash from the Kremlin over the, over the idea of any country in Europe, either the Nordic countries of Sweden or Finland, or anywhere in Eastern Europe, actually considering the idea of NATO membership. That being said, I believe that Finland and Sweden will be the next members of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. First, let's look into Finland's perspective, and then I will switch over to Sweden and then Russia's uh, reasons to oppose this. Finland, ha Finland did not support the idea at first of joining NATO. In fact, a lot of polls prior to the Russian invasion of Ukraine have actually showed that support for joining the North Atlantic Treaty Organization ranged from 25% to 30%. In fact, even the even the government that is currently in control but control of Finland, which is run by the Social Democrats, was hesitant to say the very least about the prospect of NATO membership. Hell, why wouldn't they? Norm neutrality has been serving them well since the and the Cold War, and plus they have an agreement with neighboring Sweden that while they have different national interests, in the case of joining a military alliance such as NATO, it would be something that they must agree upon together. And that has been the continued policy, at least until this, until this point in time, with Russia invading a neutral country of, of Ukraine. This has prompted the governments of Finland and Sweden to consider if Ukraine, that is currently not a part of NATO or the European Union, is going to be attacked. What's the case of that going to happen to us? I mean, yeah, they are, it's true that they have a pretty large military, and for good reason, that I will be talking about in this video. But nonetheless, it's still a pr major prospect that they are tr they, they've been focusing on ever since the Russians decided to invade Ukraine. So, Finland is... Why would Finland do this despite the fact that uh, it has a strong military? Well, NATO has... NATO provides security for at least, at least for its members. At, as much as Russia is very critical of NATO as well as um, prompted saber rattling. Uh, although, to be fair, there's been major saber rattling on both sides, like with President, Bi uh, President Biden over the issue of Ukraine. Uh, there has not been a, a single engagement over NATO, except in, at the very least, minimum flybys or close calls. That's about it. No one wants to start a war, and Russia does not like the idea of going against an alliance that contains 30 countries. Plus another, plus a superpower known as the United States. So, in this case, with, Ru with Finland joining NATO, it gives them extra layer of security than they already have. And with uh, Russia not having attacked members, this would provide, this would be 100% good protection against Russia. After all, Finland has their, has a border right next to them. Don't worry, I will get more into the more into the border later and why Russia doesn't want that to happen. Ru Another reason would be Russia's performance in Ukraine. And it's no secret that Russia is not doing too well in terms of trying to fight against the Ukrainians. They have been dealing with stiff resistance, they've been dealing with weather, they've been dealing with low morale. Already, seven Russian generals are dead, and this, and this is after nearly two month, a nearly two month war. Hell, the situation where the the, the Russians decided to withdraw from Kiev signals that they were not prepared for conquering Ukraine. Absolutely, not so ever. Nonetheless, the I the act of them actually invading Ukraine. Still, put still highlights a major concern for Finland and Sweden. After Finland shares a major border with Russia, 
And like before, during, say, uh, the Winter War, Russia would have easily used its land border to invade Finland. In fact, that's a, um, in fact, that's another third, that's actually a third reason why Finland would actually support the idea of NATO membership. They have political history with, with Russia. Aside from Cold War neutrality, which was a ra rational and realist thing to do, especially, uh, since they were next to a superpower, they have no love for Russia. I've, Russia was the one who supported the idea of a communist upright, wanted to support a communist uprising in Finland, wanting to establish a public government there, and and trying to take some of their land as they, they wanted to take some of their land as a major reason for why the why the Winter War started. Now, true, they the Finns lost, but it was a bear, bear sweet victory. The, at the very least for Russia. So they have such a major political history that in of itself, while I cannot talk about fully here, it's crazy, to say the very least. And with the, and with the weakness, what's, what's currently going on with uh, Ukraine, with Russia, I wouldn't say stalled in their advance, but they... Because they're trying to push forward in the eastern part of Ukraine, it does it does signal that because of how long this war of war is going, that the Russian bear is pretty weak, and the, the showing of weakness, especially in the case of a, a world power such as Russia, that spells potential doom. With a lot of a lot of neighboring countries deciding, screw you. You are you don't have the strength to take on take me on a small neighboring country, and they're going to go go uh, more western. Now let's look at uh, Sweden's perspective. After all, they don't share a border with Russia. Why are, why would they even consider the idea of NATO membership? Well, there are well that's a fair. Fair assessment. After all, Sweden has been uh, neutral for over 200 years. Hell, even during the Second World War, they've been playing both the Allies and the Axis uh, just to make sure that their country remains totally neutral, does not get involved what, whatsoever with the with the war. Of course, Finland did not have that option after after the Russians invaded their homeland during, in the Winter War. They decided to side with the Germans in their invasion of Operation Barbarossa. And it's and just if you looked at the the Finns as well as how uh, their contribution in terms of dealing of uh, fighting Operation Barbarossa, they have been c severely underrated in my my opinion. But uh, continuing on, this still doesn't answer the question of why Sweden would want to join NATO. Well, there there's actually a, a major prospect because. Uh, they're pretty close. They're in the Baltic Sea. What does that mean? What does that mean? Be well, there's a, some Russian activity there. It's not just coming from St. Petersburg, um, where they definitely have their own uh, military garrisons there, but also in Kaliningrad, a small patch of land that borders both uh, Lithuania, or I think it's, it's either Lithuania or Latvia, if my geography is correct, and Poland. This piece of territory was given to the Russians after defeating, defeating Nazi Germany in World War II, and they've kept it since. And Kaliningrad is heavily militarized, and it has a lot of missiles. And guess who is in range of said missiles? You guessed it, Sweden and its, and its neighboring islands. Considering that aspect, Russia would love nothing more than have control of the Baltics. After all, a lot, a lot of the reason why they managed, to, why they decided to go to wars in the, in the case of Russia, is because they need a warm water port, and that they're and they're the ones that uh, the nations that currently have w warm water ports are their own enemies, and this would and this would definitely put a little a major target on Sweden as well as Finland. So in my prospect, while, while 
Sweden does not have much of a reason to join NATO as Finland, it's still a major concern that Kaliningrad is just from the fact that that it exists as a militarized province, I would call it. It's a major concern for Sweden as a whole for uh, just being safe from any possible outside threat. Now, of course, Russia does not like the idea of either of these two countries joining NATO. Of course, which, in fact, uh, it, considering from their perspective, it's hard to see, not to see why. After all, in, just looking at Finland, they cover about 800 miles of their of their border in the north. 800 miles. That's a good chunk of land that they would have to spread out a lot of their military garrison just to ho just to hold, just to prevent any advances should NATO decide to co come in from the north to attack Russia. Now, th this is this is a lot of the, this is the reason why uh, Russia has been very prominent in trying to prevent many many of these nations in Eastern Europe, like Ukraine and and even in the early 2000s, say, the Baltic states, from joining NATO. If they join NATO, that means they have no buffer states. If they have no buffer states, that leaves them vulnerable. In fact, that's partly the reason why the Warsaw Pact was even created as a result. Not just for uh, solidifying so Soviet influence, but also using the puppet sa the satellite states of Poland, East Germany, etc. as basically bot meat shields. Of course, this also spells another danger as well. There would be less influence on on its border on its neighbors. Of course, they have. There's the exception of Belarus, which is cur currently supported uh, by Russia, and in fact, it's been supporting the Russians in this invasion of Ukraine. But nonetheless, it's the loss of any friends within its your with its within its own, on its own borders, excuse me, spells the possibility of doom for the Russian Federation if they were invaded. Of course, how they're going through about this with the idea of, of invading, or well, sorry, of the idea of, of these two countries deciding to join NATO is going to backfire. Because... Already, we're seeing a lot. I'm already there are a lot of articles in consideration of Russia's uh, criticism for this, with ru with su such as right here, Yahoo News. Russia says it would have to rebalance if Finland and Sweden join NATO, which further ish further proves my point about uh, the Russia spray their own forces thinly. But uh, but there's uh, another issue right here. Let me try to find this. Uh, here we go on Newsweek and. Fin a Russian lawmaker has warned that Moscow would retaliate if, fin if Finland joins NATO as Russian Ukraine Russia aggression in Ukraine spurs the Nordic country towards membership of the alliance. It, I'm honestly think that this, that how the Russians are talking, especially uh, how desperate they are, how desperate it seems Russia is acting, it's going to push Finland and Sweden further into NATO. Hell, they're the polling, just in the case of Finland, is showing major support. What when I earlier in this video I said that prior to the invasion, twenty-five to thirty percent supported joining NATO. After, and this was just from a month ago, according to the Values and Attitudes Survey by the Finnish Business and Policy Forum, sixty percent of people would support Finland joining the NATO military alliance. 60%. Now, of course, there's a Finland and Sweden would have a lot of benefits in regards to being under the umbrella of NATO. More protection from Russia, no no possibility of them actually attacking. In fact, there would be more of a there would be an, more of an incentive of Russia not to attack. But what could go wrong in the possibility of 
Finland and Sweden joining NATO? Well, there are a few. Social Democrats. Currently, those are the two parties that have control of Sweden and Finland. They are the ones in control of the governments. They have been historically hesitant on the idea of joining NATO. However, after what happened with Ukraine, the Social Democrats have actually are deciding to reevaluate that policy to the where, according here on Eurac T, Eurac IV, Finland's decision to join NATO membership should be made in the spring. Prime Minister Sanna Marin told the Social Democratic Party Council on Saturday, <coughs> without revealing her personal view. An increasing number of Finns are now backing NATO membership, and President Sali Nin. Nisto, and I think I butchered that name, I apologize, recently said a, a referendum was no longer needed. Now, this could, the Social Democrats within both Sweden and Finland would probably stay, stay the same and don't join NATO, weigh in state policy, remain ar armed but neutral. But if the Social Democrats are having, an, having problems about the pos or well, having different thoughts about joining NATO, that may lead, that may actually unite all of Finland to, or, and Sweden to finally join NATO, because the Social Democrats are the ones who have been the most hesitant. They are the ones who have been in control, and Russia, Russia's invasion would just potentially, um, it, it would backfire on them. It would backfire on Russia because now the Social Democrats would potentially actually consider doing this. Another problem would be Sweden rejecting the idea of NATO membership. As I said before in, early in this video, Sweden and Finland have a joint agreement about the pros prospect of joining another, uh, another uh, security alliance such as NATO. If Finland wants to join. Sweden has to go. Sweden has to go in as well. If Sweden wants to join, Finland has to go as well. If not, and neither of them support the idea of joining NATO, idea is off. It's more of a it's a brotherly um kind of uh, agreement over the the prospect of being a part of any mutual defense. But however, I would say that this would be a mute point because. Already, a lot of people are supporting the idea of NATO membership in their respective countries. And two, in 2009, Sweden has been making new treaties and alliances with the EU and other neighboring countries on, in order to boost its own defense. So I think that this would be, in, be, small, be a small issue in comparison. What I don't think... Is going to be a small issue is if NATO decides to reject them, them themselves or completely abstains from the idea. What, how should I know? How should I know that uh, NATO would reject or abstain from the idea of another country joining their alliance? Simple. They did it before with another country that currently Russia is invading. Ukraine just wanted to. And it's populist. What is to what to join NATO membership as well as having e EU membership? But considering the pro the tensions as well as some border disputes that occurred with Crimea, Donetsk, and Luhansk, NATO wasn't going to get into the issue of Ukraine. And I I say and I think that this was one of their big mistakes, NATO's big mistakes that contributed to this war. But nonetheless, despite despite what them asking, requesting for the possibility of NATO membership, even now, Jonas Konensberg, the NATO, sec NATO Gen Secretary General, does not want to discuss the idea of Ukraine joining NATO. And that may possibly happen. Or sorry, sorry that may have they may possibly happen in the case of Finland and Sweden. Sweden would not be too much of an issue. After all, they're not too they're not 
bordered with Russia, at least on on land. They had to deal with Kaliningrad, of course, but that did stop the Baltic countries or Poland from acquiring NATO membership. But in the case of Finland, I would say that there's a prospect that NATO does not want to uh, continue a more hostility with with Russia. And potentially, potentially, there even one nation can can uh, prevent either of these two countries from joining NATO. Because according to uh, the NATO treaty, it must be unanimous that the possibility of membership must be approved by every single country. That's been done for many countries before and since. Hell, this has been a major topic for uh, North Macedonia, where uh, Greece was willing to uh, was going was going to go so far as to not get have Macedonia join NATO because of the use of uh, the use of the name Macedonia as, and a, a few other issues in regards to uh, their conflict. I'm not going to get too much into it, but but. Long story short, Greece was going to say no until B Macedonia made a few changes that changed their country to the Republic of North Macedonia. And that finally allowed uh, North Macedonia to become uh, the 30th member in the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. I could see, potentially, that Finland and Sweden will join the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. But I believe... That considering the prospects, that will be up to NATO to decide whether or not such prospects will actually occur. Right now is a, cur is a good time. A perfect opportunity for these two countries to, to join this alliance. But, I, but the question is, will NATO accept them or not? And, I, and despite my reservations as well as how much they how much NATO tried to abstain from the idea of of allowing more more countries to join NATO, such as, say, Ukraine, I think Finland and Sweden may actually get the blessing of NATO. My name is Noam Mihian of the Arc Truth. Please post a comment down below, like this video, subscribe, and share with your friends. Also, if you have any issues regarding my videos, such as how I speak or if I need to need to change my camera or anything, please post them down in the comment section down below or directly message me. Thank you.